But again, we're getting the matchup. So we've got uh, Yan is a little bit taller, a bit of a hiding uh, advantage, same weight, and he's 13 years older. So I want to see how much of his that's going to tire him out, or if it's just more time in training. Let's see. Let's see these Correct. guys go at it. Jan Steinbecker actually writing a book about this experience as well. He's literally writing a novel about his life story and then how he got to where he's gotten today. And that is inside the Full Metal Dojo, fighting another human being. Peace on Earth through sports. There it is. These guys looking like they're just testing each other's striking skills out. I yep. can't see anyone looking for a takedown. They just look like they want to nope. strike and bang. it out, which is great. We like to see a bit of... Who doesn't? Uh, Who doesn't? Yeah, exactly. Who doesn't want a good right. knockout? Yeah, again, uh, he's pumping out, Jan is pumping out the left, and again, that is for range, but I like uh, what Amr's mindset is, he's uh, looking to counter punch and or looking to kick that leg down. Yeah, Amr is going to have a, uh, he's got a little bit of a, oh, he's overhand right there. right there, he's a little bit of a disadvantage for height and therefore usually with reach on that one there. But he looks like he's a little bit more... Jan is doing everything, though, right now in terms of a counter-puncher. Uh, the way that he's pu pumping out that jab, it's actually in rhythm. So if Almer has some good striking techniques, as we just saw him go for that overhand right there, he can lay another one. He... That's what I'm hoping for. And also, Jan's got to be a bit careful. He's circling towards that overhand right, and that's a, that's a dangerous thing to do. Right, let's see again how, how this action steps up as the kicks come flying now again. These guys really do look like they just want to stand and strike again though. If I, you know, if you're in the ring with Amir, you probably don't want to go to the ground, do you? Of course. But we're in the Mecca of Muay Thai, Bangkok, Thailand. And again, this is where striking, whew, it's so much fun with those Fairtex gloves on, representing the FMD on it. It's, it's a good time. It's a good time. If you've never been to Bangkok, you should definitely come here. Oh, he gets oh clipped! Clipped with a big oh, and another big right hand! Wow! And that's and, and oh, Jan doesn't even know where he is. The referee doesn't there. even know where he is. He has been taken down hard. Taken out. Amr, the Egyptian kid, El Dahari. Amr chased that down so well. He just he instinctively chased it down and finished it up. Let's, Let's see the re replay. Replay action. Big right, wow. big right, right big there. Right. And then he comes in, Ooh, oh, is again. straight on the chin. That's the one that really did it, didn't it? That is amazing. With such accuracy to drop down and knock out someone okay. with such accuracy. We are losers in the dojo, but we have to have a winner. So after one minute and 53 seconds into the first round, Dana Blue and our referee in charge, raise the hand of your winner, the red corner, Amr El